Hey everyone, so welcome back. Uh, today I got something that was sent to me. I know nothing about this brand. Uh, it, the brand is Bertucci. Uh, off the box here I see their performance field watches. Um, I had this sent to me. I don't really know much about them, so that's, you know, interesting. Um, off the, you know, design, you know, I see durability by design. You'll feel in the moment a beautiful watch around your wrist. They have, you know, direct contact information on the box. It's, you know, quite an interesting design uh, based on what I've read. Um, but their, you know, their watch box really shows a lot about them. They have a performance warranty. Um... So this is really going to be more of a dive into the brand for the first time than really an in-depth review because I've never seen one before and it was just sent to me. But let's let's take a look uh, at what these are like. Um, popping out of the box here, it's kind of sent like a Casio. Uh, first impression is it's nice. It's definitely a small watch. Um, I'll dive into the dimensions soon, but it's, it's definitely smaller than I would prefer to wear, but it's packaged very much like a Casio, which I have no objections to. This watch was only $50.00. Um, based on the website price, as I said, it was sent to me, but, um, it's a very interesting looking watch. It's definitely a field watch in design. Um, taking a closer look at it, that red, uh, second hand really pops. Uh, it seems to have some sort of like PVD type coating, which I think is kind of cool, but the question will be the durability. Will it last? Will it scratch? Um, it's a mineral crystal case. Um, specifications are it is 12.2 millimeters thick which isn't too thick, but the band underneath it makes it a little thicker. Speaking of the band, they call it their comfort web. Um, not really sure what that means, but I guess we'll see. Um, it has this little built-in loop at the end, which I don't love, but the clasp type end is really nice. Um, back onto the face here, it is a 36 millimeter watch. Uh, the band width is 19, so it's definitely a small watch. Um, but as a first impression, I do think it is very nice looking. The question is just, can I pull it off with my wrist size? Um, here it is on the wrist. It definitely, I don't, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of small watches, but I don't think it looks ridiculous. It is definitely noticeably small. I think the thickness of the band on the bottom because of that built-in loop, I don't personally love, but some that's, I guess, a typical field watch style. Um, it is a little thick for how only 36 millimeters it is which kind of bothers me but I, I don't think wearing it it feels disastrously small or people are gonna be like oh that watch looks silly on you um it is definitely small but i don't think it is as small as i thought it would be when i took it out of the box um here's the loom it's very simple just the little pips around the outside per hour and then the hour minute and the end of the second hand it's not a bad loom. Um, it lasts. Uh, it's it's better than I would expect. Um, diving a little more into the watch itself, I don't really know anything about the brand. Uh, based on their story, it looks like they started in around 2004, and this watch is something of a newer watch. They definitely do have some more expensive watches on their website. Um, I, honestly, I, I don't really know what else to say about this watch because... I'm really just taking it out of the box, looking at it, and trying to give you guys a, a very first overhand view without doing too much research. That way it's, it feels like you bought it. You know, I, I know not a lot, everyone has the time to do hours of research. So right out of the box, if you think a 36 millimeter field watch would fit you well, I think this is a great watch. It's obviously quartz. I didn't mention that already, but this is not a mechanical watch. This is a quartz watch. Um, I believe it is a Japanese movement, and it wears beautifully. Um, 36 millimeters is your size. I would definitely recommend checking this out. I'm definitely going to read up more on Bertucci watches. Um, I don't really know, you know, what else to say except it's a it's a cool watch. You know, I I'm kind of at a loss for words, which is strange for me, but um, it's it's definitely um, a a departure from what I would usually buy, and I think that's kind of cool in a sense. So. Definitely check them out, and uh, sorry this wasn't a longer video, but I, I really have, uh, at the moment, nothing else to say about this watch because I didn't want to do too much research on it. So check them out on your own, and if you want to know more, there's a link to the Amazon site below.